This, I believe, is part of the National Wildlife Refuge. Um, there's a lot of wildlife signs pointing you to, uh, to that fact. I can't even read that, I'm sorry. Like I said, I left my tripod off there, out there in the distance. What are you looking at right there? That is the launch pad for the multi-trillion dollar space exploration program. And I think that that right there is actually one of their so-called rockets. So is that one. You know, it's fun to laugh and to think that anyone who believes in any kind of conspiracies is just very weak-minded, kooky, and thinks that they're special and wants to be famous and recognized uh, as being a loony bin. Okay, or belonging in the loony bin. I can assure you from experience, that is not the case. There is nothing fun or exciting about people thinking that you're crazy and being ostracized and being considered uh, to be less, much less intelligent than you actually are. That is not fun, that is not exciting, that's not, that's not something that I personally would ever aspire to. I can't talk for everyone else, but... Being rejected by the vast majority of the population is not in any way, shape, or form uh, a boost of anyone's ego, okay? It's very isolating and it, it makes for a very lonely existence. Anyway, having said that, I just want to say that I personally feel, and it is totally my opinion, that uh, we are being completely bamboozled here. Um, I'm not buying it. I'm sorry. Uh, these so-called rockets, if you watch their live launch that they did on YouTube, it looks like the fakest thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, I think that little kids could do better with crayons. It is so, so fake looking. I'm not buying it. Why? I'm just asking questions here. Why would one of the richest men on planet Earth, a billionaire, okay, a multi-billionaire, be investing in rockets that look like a seed silo from Nebraska that was just airlifted to Texas, sat down, and then they just used CGI to attach some some sparks and some fire to it and make it look like it lifted off the ground. Now, if you were here and you saw it actually flying, that's great. Good on you. That's excellent. Perfect. Um, I'm not doubting that. I'm not doubting your experience. All I'm saying is it just seems really fishy to me that a multi-billionaire would have all this money and what we get for it is these ridiculous 1920s looking 1920s looking hunks of metal that are supposedly rockets and that are supposedly going to take us into outer space to explore things that NASA with all of its billions and trillions in taxpayers dollars was never able to see I'm just not buying it man something smells so fishy even these antennas out here whatever they are They're just so old and outdated looking. Just so old and just so, they look like they look like movie props, okay? They look like movie props, like they got them off the scene or the set of contact with uh, Jodie Foster. Was that the name of that movie? I don't know what it was called. Whatever it was called, the movie with Jodie Foster. It's like they got them off of a movie set, you guys. I just, I'm not buying it, man. It seems so fake to me. Um, anyway, just an opinion. Uh, of course, I don't have any hard evidence. It's just a hunch based on the way that so much of today's news is just so faked and just so based on opinion and a reinforcement of your already uh, existing beliefs. Okay, very rarely do they ever come out with news that questions or challenges your long-held, long-established, deep-rooted, basic worldviews and opinions that, by the way, were given to you by them, the same people who will never put out news that questions it. 
So based on that theory, I just I don't I'm just not buying it, man. Did you see that vehicle that Elon Musk built that uh, Jay Leno took a ride in? That thing looked ridiculous. It looked like a garbage can had been spray painted and shaped into some kind of a vehicle. Sure. Yeah. Well, maybe that was a And from my understanding, it was a piece of crap. Why is a multi-billion billionaire who's supposedly so smart and so intelligent and is such a revolutionary and so just has such advanced knowledge of science and physics and all this stuff, why is he building garbage cans, shiny garbage cans? I just don't get it. I could be completely wrong, okay? I'm not a scientist. I'm not a physicist. Physicists can't even say it. Not only am I not one, I can't even pronounce it. Um, I don't have a degree in aerodynamics and uh, space technology and all this other stuff. Of course not. All I am is a very observant person who has watched uh, space technology develop over the years and other types of technology, everything from vehicles to cell phones to airplanes, everything has become more streamlined, smaller, um, more intelligent, more advanced. Why are we going backwards? What what are these weird looking things? They look like seed silos. Literally, the seed silos from Nebraska. When I drove from Nebraska, I saw so many of these silos that hold seed. And that's what these look like with with like legs on them and, and ladders leading up to the top of them. We're supposed to believe that these things are flying? Or that or if they do fly, we're supposed to believe that these are the things that are gonna explore space, Mars, and other planets? Just wanted to show the contrast between the birds waiting in the water on one side and then all the construction on the other. Okay guys, multi-million dollar rockets, right? Latest technology. Using, uh, I'm assuming, um, atomic propulsion, possibly, or some other type of propulsion that, you know, we don't know about. And one of these things crashes and it's a major incident but what do we have out here we have an old 1970s maybe fire truck looks like it was retired back in the 80s that's their great emergency response uh, team it says it says launch emergency operations on the side with the SpaceX logo that's their big response to uh, to, to one of these huge rockets that they supposedly can go to Mars, exploding on impact or exploding upon launch. Come on, guys. Really? Are you kidding me right now? Am I wrong? Someone tell me I'm wrong, please. You guys ever heard of a shell corporation? In other words, a company that's created to cover the existence of a covert operation or another company that engages in illicit activity, conduct or commerce, a shell corporation. In other words, they're able to funnel millions and millions of dollars into their legitimate business, which is simply just a cover for something that's not as legitimate. Or even if it is legitimate, it's not publicly uh, transparent. It's not publicly visible or available for scrutiny, for freedom of information requests, for, for uh, observation, etc. So, 
a lot of people said that about NASA too for a while that they were receiving billions and billions of dollars in taxpayers money and we weren't getting what we were paying for yeah NASA was working on a space program but they're working on a lot of other stuff too that had nothing to do with space so could this just be a continuation of that through the private sector which gives the government even more uh, plausible deniability and even more of an ability to to uh, maintain all of the operations out of the public eye while presenting a public image. Guys, look at this thing. It looks like it's been here for 50 years and they're just barely building this place. I've got to mention here that I did not research this place for months and months prior to making this uh, video. So for all I know, uh, these are really ridiculous, simple questions that have already been answered. For all we know, Elon Musk himself gave an interview where he explains why the rockets look so retro and why everything looks so old and beat up and cheap. Some parts of it. So if that's the case, then, you know, great, I get it. But uh, I'm just saying that from the outside looking in, first time seeing it, not knowing any of that, it looks kind of funny to me. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, we have liftoff. FC2, please prepare for section 35, OSC, FC1, LVN. T plus 30 seconds, Starship 10 has liftoff. It's headed to 10 kilometers. 